What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Trinity Wolf and well welcome back to another amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! Day episode. Before we get started, if you are new to the channel, please destroy that subscribe button. Uh, we have now finally hit a thousand subscribers, so time to reach our new goal of 2,000 subscribers. So be sure to smash that subscribe button and uh, hit the like button for me. And uh, well, uh, I don't really have any other announcements other than that. Um, I do in fact have um, the play map uh, available for you guys to look at so it won't be in this Yu-Gi-Oh! Day episode I'll probably make a separate uh, smaller video on it so uh, uh, I'm so thankful for you guys uh, to finally get us to a thousand and without further ado uh, let's just get on into this Yu-Gi-Oh! Day uh, round one my Neo Stack versus Splite now uh, of course um, I kind of have a hard time against Splite. Um, I don't know what the deal is, but um, I am perm the gigantic sprite here, as you see, which kind of pretty much ends the turn. But I do believe I win this game. This Yu-Gi-Oh day was actually filmed. Uh, let's see, probably almost by the time you guys see this, almost a week ago. So uh, probably like five days ago, like on a. Uh, well, whenever Wednesday was. <laughs> so, uh, as you can see, I pop off here using my, um, we do the Vision Hero package. We use our Infernal Divisor to reveal Nebula Neos to add two materials. We actually got Neos and Grand Mole with this. Um, using Malicious. And this is where, oh yeah, there's the Wonder Driver. I thought I made Cross, because, uh, I know in the last Yu-Gi-Oh day I was, um, misplaying quite a bit with my linking and stuff so I made sure that I uh, I made sure I wasn't doing any of that so um, here we go we, we um, end shuffle away our Stratos I believe for Spirit of Neos maybe um, let's see I guess we're just thinking also yeah here comes the Spirit of Neos Using his effect to get our favorite contact. We use the end shuffle to shuffle Neos back into the deck. Oh no, I guess not. We don't use that yet. So we favorite we instant contact here. Miracle fusion that away for our shining Neo swingman. Uh, destroying some cards, but of course he has another enemy controller. But I actually droplet my shining Neos away because I wouldn't I wouldn't have a way to kill the, the Neos, so we actually drop hit him away. Uh, we continue to do some more plays here. Uh, link them away for cross. Link him away for... I mean, send him for plasma. And we pretty much go into battle phase with these guys here, which, of course, is not enough to kill for game. We link them away for plasma, because I figured skill drain would be the best thing here. And dude, top decks, I think, a change of heart. So we favorite contact him away and the malicious to make DPE, and then that was pretty much game. So game two, I uh, guess go first again. Uh, sided Cosmic Cyclone, as you can see, just to deal with some back row. I don't believe I... So we do Ash, uh, the Gigantic Sprite, which is... Usually you hope to hit the Gigantic Sprite, and it just ends their turn, but when then sometimes they're able to just keep going, which kind of sucks. Um... I can't remember what that XC's monster is, uh, but I th I think it was a I don't think it was a monster negate. I can't honestly can't quite remember. So uh, excuse me for forgetting. So I cosmic I can't remember what it was, but it was just the one that he was like messing with too much. So I was like, yeah, let's just get rid of the one he's messing with. Um, uh, let's see. Are my oh yeah, I remember this hand. My hand was like super super bad. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's just cross. It's cross. Keep. It's cross keeper. Increase a malicious. Like it was so bad. And yeah, and he gets. Oh yeah, it was a bounce. That's what it was. And yeah, we pretty much smashers get rid of the malicious, and now it was pretty much the game. So my only problem with this deck is just breaking. Like I don't understand why. I I literally make it as consistent as possible, and then sometimes the hands are just just unluckily bad. Like. I don't know if it's just luck, but when this deck pops off, it pops off, but um, this Yu-Gi-Oh! Day was just not really my day, I guess. But yeah, here we go with the uh, 
uh, revealing the Nebulinios, adding both Grand Mole and Dark Panther. And we normal summon Stratos, using Stratos effect to search for Plasma. Because the Bestials are just so annoying to deal with, man. Like, I don't really know uh, the best way to deal with them, but, um... So, uh, I will actually let you guys know, since this is actually, uh, since this is actually way a couple of days, um, after I filmed this, I actually have another Yu-Gi-Oh! day coming up very shortly after this. Uh, I changed my hero build to, like, a more pure elemental hero build, sort of, like, more main deck, different attributed heroes, like, Solid Soldier's back, uh, Blaze Man, we're just trying to avoid all these, like, dark attribute, uh, monsters in our graveyard, but, um, so that day went a heck of a lot better, you guys, so, can't wait to show you guys that Yu-Gi-Oh! day, um, I've also got some shorts coming up for, like, spicy hero tech that you guys want, might can try out in your deck, uh, so, stay tuned for those, um, uh, Hopefully you can try them out. Like, as you can see, I'm just, like, trying to just... Sorry, I, I, I'm i sorry. I'm, like, uh, switching topic. Yeah, I was just trying to just throw negates. I'm like, you know what? He might need whatever he has, so I'm just going to just stop whatever. But I already knew I was in a bad spot, so I was like, I'm probably just going to lose this game. Uh, I think I actually just lose it here because I I already, I'm already at 71. He just gets to make his board. But, yeah, uh... I don't know. I, I might... I wish more people at, like, my regular locals played Splite more often, because uh, Wednesday seems like it's the only day I actually get to test against Splite. Uh, mostly everybody else in my regular locals is either playing something completely random, or it's, like, uh, Tears. And I don't really have a crazy issue with Tears, so... Uh, you kind of, you know, you just kind of make Dark Lot Plasma. You, <laughs> you kind of just win <laughs> with uh, against them with that, so... Um, I don't know if I need to, like, have, like, dark rulers, because sometimes the board they make is just too much. Um, but I'll figure that out shortly, guys. But if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to leave it down in the comments. Uh, I think I'm just going to main deck more, uh, disruption, like, uh, max out on the imperms, the ashes. Um, but, yeah. That was round, uh, one. Pretty much lost there. And, uh, round two, it was against... As you can see, uh, more splites. <laughs> um, and I pretty much think I got rocked this game one. I think I can't quite tell from my hand. Like as I as I said, uh, this was a few, almost a week ago, so I can't quite remember everything. Um, but yeah, uh, the new hero deck I put together. I don't think Neos is just. With this format, I don't think it's ready, man. Like, and just the cards that limit us with Neos, just, like, I don't know why we have to be limited with the deck. Like, Konami will make a deck, like, tier elements that can just do, like, everything in existence. You know what I mean? Like, they can synchro, they can link, they can XCs, like, they can do everything. But, like, you know, we get support, and it's like, nope, you gotta stick with your fusions. Yeah, nope, can't do nothing else. Like, I'm not even asking to synchro or nothing, but I'm like, why did you make a Neos card that says, oh, yeah, you're locked into fusions, but I, when I have Link monsters that help me do more plays, like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, I literally have, we literally have a Link monster that lets us even search for our Spatians, and we can't even do that under engage so i was like why did Enga uh, why didn't engage just say oh yeah you're locked into just uh heroes from the extra deck that would have been a hundred percent fine a hundred percent fine i would have been completely okay with that but uh it's whatever so uh game two as you can see uh, we get to go first uh we end shuffle away for spirit and neos i believe um, I can't quite remember, because normally it's, yeah, it's all, most of the time it's Spear Neos. If it's Tears, it's, it's going to be Shadow Mist for Dark Claw, like, most of the time. But, um, yeah, so we get, we shuffle him back for our Neos. And, let's see, we have a Lancia, but that's not going to really do anything for our turn. 
It's mostly for when their turn goes, uh, in case of an evenly matched. But most of the time, I don't think players really side. Ugh, excuse me. I don't think players really side evenly matched for heroes when they're not really worried about us not putting up a negate. They're like, yeah, we, we can break the board, no problem. I mean, they don't really put up anything because they're like, if they evenly match us, they're just going to keep the Dark Lord Plasma anyway. So, um, so, but it's always just in case. And then not being able to banish is, you know, kind of a, kind of big. Um, you know, he won't be able to use his bestials on my, on his turn. You know, he won't be able to like use them to banish mine or his things. Uh, we actually use Aqua Neos to get rid of a card, and it was actually another Magma Hut. So, uh, we fusion Destiny Hero for, obviously, our Phoenix. Uh, should be underneath the Water Driver so I can get my Palmerization back. I do believe we had Plasma in our hand, I think. Yeah, we get our Plasma here, but I actually don't think we were able to make him. Oh, no, we were. We were. Uh, then we take the Magma Hut. I believe my board gets broken anyway, because um, I honestly don't feel like I remember winning this game. Yeah, so the dart, the freaking plasma gets imperm like already, and then here comes a change of heart on sunrise, and then yeah, we chain Lantia. He had another bestial in hand. I hate that the fact that they're quick effects. Like I don't understand why they had to make them quick. Like, <laughs> I think if they were just on their turn, I think they, they would be cool. But the fact that they're quick and you can do them anytime is absolutely ridiculous. So we have a Plasma here. Actually, I think I do remember this game. We were able to, um, we were pretty much able to keep Plasma alive. So, uh, attack was declared on, uh, Plasma, of course, I use, um, DPE to pop the Sunrise, of course, because I can't allow that to happen. Uh, then he prime was he's losing too much attack because of DPE uh, So he was not able to swing over the 600 defense uh, Plasma which was great. Uh, he was he was about to be able to but Due to me popping the sunrise it put another hero in my grave and then made his monsters lose all that extra attack so uh, really helped out a bit uh, Great enough for me. He was actually not able to get rid of the plasma. So pretty much on my turn again uh, plasma will be live. So, in fact, he, you see there is a Smashers here. Um, I do believe he was trying to use it, but I reminded him that he was under Lancia, so uh, he was not able to uh, do that. Um, let's see, I can't quite. I see, I can't remember everything. Uh, I forgot where my. I can't even remember where my DPE went. I was not even paying attention, but yes. I don't know why I don't know where DPE went, but um uh, I think yeah, he smashered it on the the standby phase of the next turn, I think. But uh, I kinda just let it go through. Cause he for some reason he completely forgot about the plasma. And he was like, Oh yeah, plasma. <laughs> um I still don't believe I I can't imagine I I honestly don't remember. Uh, yeah, he used the guy to pop the plasma. That's, he used it to bounce the plasma back. That's right. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much, I think that's going to be game because I, yeah, because I actually, he didn't have anything. So, yeah, now I remember this game. He didn't have anything. We were able to swing for game. So, game three, um, it's probably not going to go my way. See, as you can see, he gets to go first. Um, funny enough, that didn't do anything because it got called by the grave. But even though it it got hit with that, um, it getting used as XE's material wouldn't consider it leaving the field. So I wouldn't have gained life anyway. And pretty much what's going to happen here is because uh, me not being able to gain life... Um, he was able to actually burn me with some, um, I can't remember the card, but he burned me with something, so all I had was just a normal summon Stratos, and swing for 14, and he actually won by 100 life points, so that kind of sucks, so, um, I actually had the buy round 3, first, because, you know, I was, 
kind of getting smoked. So uh, round four is essentially just kind of an extra round they decided. So even though uh, I lost all my rounds, the next round was just actually just a uh, hit at random. So as you can see, it's, you know, um, more Albaz, some Albaz stuff. Uh, I need to try some of these cards out in my Branded Heroes. Uh, that trap card seems insane where you just reborn one back out of your grave and kind of super poly. Like, that's absolutely insane. So I definitely need to try that card out um, in the near future. Um, I need to pick them up. But uh, regular heroes to me right now seems great. Uh, branded is just kind of... I don't know. Like, I know they're going to get more support, but I don't know how well that will do with my hero deck. We'll just have to, you know... Continue to see as you can see. I'm just trying to, you know, bait some effects here because I'm like, man, I don't know when certain things will trigger. My mistake here was actually using the engaged Neo Space. I wish I never used that engaged Neo Space, and that's what I was kind of talking about, guys. If I was able to link and keep doing other things, it'd be insane. But like, uh, the fact that you, you know, get locked into just fusion it's not enough like unless you don't have like the miracle contact and other things you only get one polymerization with the you know with the neo space i mean with the engaged neo space you only get one polymerization so i was like how many times do you think i'm gonna be able to fuse with this one polymerization you gave me you know what i'm saying but uh pretty pretty much me using engage kind of just uh screwed up everything but as you can see we sunrise here most of the time, my opponents always want to get rid of Sunrise. Um, but I think he gets to stay. But we're going to be able to draw some cards. And get our Miracle Fusion. Because uh, Ab-Zero is an amazing card. Every time I play an opponent uh, that has an Ab-Zero on the field, they're like, Golly, like, how do I get rid of this thing without losing a lot of my resources? So... Um, Let's see, we Ferris, I forgot what we pitched, but uh, we have increased down there just in case. Because I know when we get rid of this uh, Mirror's Aid, uh, we're going to lose our entire board. Because um, I wish it was like Starving Venom, where it's like, oh yeah, it only wipes out special summon monsters, but it wipes out everything, which kind of sucks. So It's basically their version of Absolute Zero, but better, because you could have a quick effect where you banish crap, so... Uh, this pretty much was where it's going to go downhill because, you know, we just don't have pretty much anything else, as you see. We Miracle Fusion just to make an Ab Zero. Uh, believe, I don't believe Ab Zero will stay here forever. Yeah, um, pretty much I lose my Neos and my Aqua Dolphin. He gets a Branded Fusion, uh, which is not good for me. <laughs> Obviously, because anytime you see your opponent with Brand of Fusion, it's just never good. Um, we actually activate uh, Absolute Zero in a chain to where he couldn't negate it, but it doesn't really matter. He had the opening to protect his fusions anyway, so. Uh, we get to go first. Pretty much is what's going to lose us here is uh, Increase gets Ashed. Oh, well, Impermed, and we didn't have the... Uh, we didn't have the uh, mass change for him, so we just revealed Nebula Neos, grabbing some more materials from our hand. Uh, activating Fusion Destiny, thankfully we had that to go off of. I uh, came, uh... Yeah, so we linked them away. See, I, I, see, I was about to link them off, but I wasn't going to make that mistake. Uh, but he um, targets the card, I was going to reborn, and we just set some cards and pretty much pass, because that's... Pretty much all we have. Well, uh, Konami, maybe give heroes a Link 4? <laughs> maybe a Link 4 we can use? That, that would be cool. Um, a Link 4 hero would be pretty dope. Uh, and Maybe give it a negate? You know? Maybe you can give uh, heroes like a Appaloosa? A Link? Or maybe like... Gets negates equal to the number of uh, heroes used as material? That would be dope. Um... So, like, you know, you'd be rewarded for using your whole board. Like, if I used, like, four heroes, i get, uh, you know, maybe four negates. Like, maybe not once in a chain or maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Depending on what it can negate, I don't know. 
I'm just I'm just talking out the mouth here. But heroes need some kind of negate. negate. I, I'm sorry, we, we, we do. We gotta have some kind of negate. Not like a skill drain, not some kind of continuous effect on the field. No, we need an actual card to respond to our opponents with. Like, oh, I'm gonna activate this from my hand. Yeah, I'll negate. Like, we need, we need something like that. Like, I don't know why heroes can't do that, but... Is Konami just afraid to give us a, a negate? Like, are they afraid that heroes will be meta? Like, I don't know. It's like they want heroes to just stay rogue forever. Like, they... They give us, you know, cards to keep playing, but they'll never give us anything as good as, like, an Omni Negate for some odd reason. I'm like, is it just too easy for us to make a fusion monster? Is, like, is that what y'all are thinking? Is this why we can't get a Negate? But, I mean, you know, DPE and Plasma and Darkclaw are great, but they only go so far. Like, we need, we need something, man. Like, and not like a spell or trap, like, you know, the, um... Like how the uh, new I can't remember the name of the the card. The protection of the elements. There it is. Uh, you know we need something more than that. Like I don't want to spell a trap that has that gets flushed away by a you know I'm gonna get. But anyway, guys, as you see, we lost. Um, there will be a better Yu-Gi-Oh Day episode coming up soon. So uh, stay tuned, guys, and I will see you. In the next one.